Hello everyone and welcome to Sunburn Abana Plays Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. We are on Jaden versus whoever the Amazon chick is. Uh, why don't we get right into it? Duel distractions. With two spirit gates already open, the Shadow Rider Tanya defeated Bastion and gained possession of his spirit key. After losing his duel to Tanya, Bastion became infatuated with her and wanted a rematch to prove that he was worthy of her. Tanya. Can't... I, I, I want. I know Amazon makes me think like you know, like Wonder Woman and stuff. Obviously, I can't do. I'm just gonna do like a Russian, just because you're. You've got such like giant breasts, and you're. You know, you got hulking shoulders. You seem to you pull that accent off. Can't you take a hint? I already dumped you. Don't you remember? He wants a rematch. He can't have one. But you seem quite brave. I do. But I'm here for my friend. He already lost. I duel you, or there's no duel. I never back down from a challenge. I'll do it for Bastion. You know the rules. If you lose this duel, you lose your spirit key and single status. Meaning you move here to this battle arena with me and become my husband forevermore. I sure hope that Jaden knows what he's doing. I sure do, and when I'm done, Bastion will know that you don't have to be in love to duel with passion. What do you say we start this, huh? That makes no sense. Bastion just lost. But you're saying if I lose, then I'm gonna become your husband. I, wh wh what do you want? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, why don't we use our rock deck? I haven't used my rock deck in a long time. It's almost maybe become obsolete. Because I don't... It doesn't have, like, you know, the XYZ monsters or anything that have become necessary to defeat some of these people. Yeah, you need some of those trump cards in there. I should be recording other things, but I just can't get enough of Yu-Gi-Oh, so, you know, it's kind of difficult to, uh, to, uh, you, you, I'm just playing the game, man. Just playing it, and it's fine. Oh, we get, oh, wait, no, never mind. That's not what I thought it was, but I'm going to go ahead and do that right off the bat. Uh, Amazon is scout string. You can trip this face-up card. This turn face-up and cannot be targeted by monster effects. Cannot be destroyed by card effects. That does not bother me whatsoever. I actually made an Amazon deck, like, myself, before I even ever fought Tanya. I was like, oh, I'm being so original, nobody uses these cards, and then, you know, she comes along, and... My Amazonist deck was much better than her Amazonist deck, though, so... I will take pride in that. Also, I've got my phone very far away from where I am currently am right now, because maybe that's been the thing that's been causing this, uh you know, the static in my microphone sometimes, so... I did read, not ex not necessarily read, but I saw, because I was watching the E! Network, uh, because you know how I'm a big fan of the E! Network. But, uh, the... Like, one of the chicks was, like, doing a voiceover thing, and then she was reading the script from her iPhone, but then they were all like, we need to do it again, because, like, the iPhone's, like, interfering with the receiving of the microphone or something. So there might be actually some, like, legis legitimate uh, th relationship between those two things. Alright, well, they keep giving me stuff that I can only use when I can remove rock-type monsters in my graveyard from play. So I can't <laughs> really do anything with them. Alright, yeah, you're that. I don't know what that is, but it's probably... I'm just gonna set this. And then we'll battle with one of our Monk Fighters still, because we can. Uh, Monk Fighter doesn't take any battle damage, so that's it's safe to do this. And that's, and that's what's cool. I've got the whatever the boosted Monk Fighter is. Like the higher level Monk Fighter. I have two of those, so I'm hoping one of them shows up before I lose my Monk Fighters. What did you do? It loses 500 attack. Not forever, though, right? Like... Until the end of this turn. All right, well, good job for you. You really made that happen. Okay, but unfortunately, we're just giving her time to set up all her stuff. Amazon is Tiger. I can only attack the Tiger. So I need something stronger than the Tiger, and I need it, like, right immediately now. Um, okay, so what card do I need via Gold Sarcophagus? The answer may shock you. Actually, it wouldn't. But I think... Yeah, I think ultimate, if we can get it before all my monsters get blown to bits, then, you know, we're in prime position to tribute for that. Like, I said this is a rock deck. I have, like, a couple 
high-level dinosaurs just to balance things out. But, uh, yeah. You're, you two are gonna kill my two right here. But then I'll m probably be able to special summon Gigastone Omega. And, uh, you know, we should still remain having enough monsters to tribute for that card that I just put out there with Gold Sarcophagus. This deck could use some updating. I've probably gotten a lot more Rock-type monsters since I was, uh... Oh, great. Oh, yeah, she's gotten, like, she's got all the stuff. Oh, you're coming... Oh, but I'm put putting you back into your hand, which lowered your attack by... Or back to the deck, excuse me, which is even better. Oh, but it's on top of the deck, so we know for a fact that she draws that. Okay, unfortunately, okay. I don't know what I was thinking when I said, oh, we're gonna have time for this. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Okay, so how many rock monsters? Three, right? We have three rock monsters. So if I use mega, that mega rock dragon would only gain 2100 attack because I can remove rock type monsters in my graveyard from play and then it gains attack and defense times 700 for each one. So I can only get you up to 2100, which is not enough to defeat Amazonas Tiger, which is the only monster I can attack. So, but, wait, but, actually, banished rock-type monsters. No, because I still, I need more rock-type monsters removed from play. And then I can summon, I can set Lost Guardian and have its defense, you know, really be uh, not quite unstoppable, but, you know. This is by a card effect, destroy all spell and trap cards or color control. This is not gonna, I might just actually, like, die. I'm gonna waste a bunch, eh, I don't like what I have to do right now. I have to banish two cards, summon you in defense mode. Like, I really just have to bolster my defense as much as possible just so I can survive this next turn. Then, I, and then I'm going to waste you at 700-700. And then I can summon you. Or I can set you, I should say. And then I'll set you on the next turn after I use Mega Rock Dragon to remove all those from play, and then your defense is going to be very quite substantial and probably impenetrable. So, you know, we're being kind of for our hand is being forced here, but uh, yeah, Amazon is, pa yeah, it makes sense. So your tiger can get the maximum attack. Yep, and then we're going to eat another direct attack, but everything's still going to be fine. I now regret Ultimate Tyranno, or Tyranno, or whatever, being the card that I need. But we do what we can. Okay, so... What I can do is Special Summon Mega Rock Dragon. And it's going to gain 2100 attack and defense. I'm going to put that in defense mode. And now that there are six removed from play monsters, Lost Guardian's defense is going to be 4,200. And that's really good. And then that is going to be how we survive this turn. Provided that you don't piss me off by using Rejecti or some shit. Don't you do it. Alright. No, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry you cannot defeat 4,200 defense. Ah... Uh, We've made our defensive strategy work for us. Oh, no crap. Okay, here's what we can do. I'm going to keep... I'm not going to use you. Because Rock Bombardment, I can send a Rock-type monster from my deck to the graveyard and inflict 500 damage. It's not for the 500 damage, though. I have cards that, when sent from the deck to the graveyard, I can special summon to my side of the field. So, unfortunately, you're 3,100 still. Like, Ultimate Tyranno still can't defeat you. I would have to kill one of these Amazons in order to, uh, like, I, I'm not sure how this would work. But we do that. Uh, we set you just for the hell of it. And then, yeah, we wait on Rock Bombardment. We don't do it during the opponent's turn. No, we're going we're gonna to skip all these prompts. You, you can lower my attack all you want. Like, I give a fuck. Yeah, good one. Good attack there. Okay, now it's my turn. Yes, now we activate Rock Bombardment. Uh, Revival Golem is the card that needs to go to the graveyard. 
because when it is sent to the graveyard, I can activate its effects. I can, or I could add it to my hand, but it's better to special summon this card from the graveyard, I would say. Right there in defense mode. Now, unfortunately, I can only make half of my plan work because I still can't kill Amazonas Tiger. Plus, you probably have, like, some bullshit trap card back there. Even though I could summon Ultimate Tyrano for now. But I also can't. So basically, we're just going to stay right exactly where we are, and we just did that to do 500 damage, I guess. I've got two more of those Rock Bombardments, so we'll have more opportunities. I, sh I guess I should be thankful that you don't have an Amazonist trainee that gains attack for every monster you destroy. Okay, when an opponent's spell trap card is activated, your opponent draws one card, also negate the spell trap card activation. That would be good if you try to use, like, Amazonist archers against me or something. Unfortunately, I all we can do is wait. Oh, it's also very, very good that I got Dark Bribe, just in case you do have, like, Tribute to the Doomed or something. I don't remember your deck. Like, I, I should study these people's decks, and then I can make something work here. It seems like I, there's no reason... Just kidding, there's actually totally all the reasons to put these guys in defense mode and let them get killed. I'm pretty sure I have one more Mega Rock Dragon that I could remove all those monsters from play and have it gain the attack that it needs to get in order to kill that tiger. And if I don't have a Mega Rock Dragon, then I'm just completely screwed. Oh, but you are also... Oh, no, you're good. I need you. I do need you for this. You will do exactly as I say. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, good. We're going to special summon you. We have to remove two cards from play. Uh, so, you know, we'll just do these. In attack mode. It seems like it doesn't have enough attack to kill the tiger, right? Uh, wrong, because its effect is have the attack and defense of any monster that battles with this card. So, pretty awesome. Plus, I'm going to sacrifice it along with this uh, for Ultimate Tyrano as soon as this tiger is dead. So, let's battle. Eat my shit, tiger. Yep, Amazonus Archers knew it. I need that to not activate. So, Dark Bribe. You can draw a card. Yep, goodbye. Do n I, I was going to say, if you have two of that same trap card, that would actually would ruin me, because that would make my Lost Guardian attack. Because that's what it does. It makes all cards that I have change to attack mode and attack targets. So, that would ruin. As you can see, 5,600 defense is a pretty good amount. So, okay. So, now that that's dead, I'm going to keep the Earth Giant out just in case you have another Tiger in your hand that you're gonna, like, throw down right now. But if you end up not doing that... Switch... Oh, no! Oh, but I'm still gonna have the attack. But that's not gonna matter because you're still gonna kill me. I'm sorry, explain that? Explain that to me? What the hell just happened? Oh, you... Oh. You're... That's right. Amazon is Swordswoman. God damn it. I was lucky you didn't get that card a long time ago then. It, the opponent takes the battle damage that you would get from battles involving that card. That is, it ruins basically essentially my entire rock strategy there. So that, my, my rock deck is not going to work for that. What I am going to use instead now is my... Oh, uh, what should I use? What should I use? Yeah, I have a cheap-ass motherfucker deck for the Duelist Challenges. Uh, we're gonna use my Alien deck. I, I call it my Alien deck because it's not quite Amniel's Duelist Challenge Alien deck. I battled him in the Duelist Challenge like probably 50 times just to get all the cards, and I didn't get all the cards. If I had all the cards, my deck would be a lot better, but I do think that it is gonna serve our purposes this duel. Okay, so. When is there only one from my graveyard? Unfortunately, I don't have one in my graveyard, but I will. I will eventually. The end phase, and then we've got Castle the Sky Blaster. Shuffle cards into the deck, or target 
changed target monsters, change the face down. Number 101 Silent Honor arc is the XYZ killer of XYZ monsters, because I can equip them to that card. And then we've also got Black Rose Dragon, Cosmic Fortress Golgar for the aliens, and King of the Feral Imps for the reptiles. Okay, so I think it may actually behoove me to start with Rescue Rabbit. Rescue Rabbit, who I will then tribute so that I can summon two of this card. Alien Shock Trooper. And then what ends up happening there is I can special summon King of the Feral Imps. Who then lets me add reptiles from my deck to my hand if I detach an XYZ material. I know we're a bit, a I'm a sort of ahead of the game in terms of using XYZ monsters when we haven't been introduced to XYZ monsters, but you, know, you gotta have them. So we'll activate the effect, detach that, you go in the graveyard, and then I can add a reptile to my hand. And I'm gonna add Alien Dog, because then I can special summon it with Alien Kid on the next turn, because that's its effect. When I normally summon an alien monster, I can special summon this card. And I can only do that effect once per turn, so we're gonna end our phase. You're probably gonna put something in face down defense position. Unless you've got a spell card that's gonna piss me off. Like Amazon as spellcaster. Amazon as village also. No, you still don't have the attack to make it work, so. Oh, magic cylinder is gonna help me. Alright. And all those are special summon, but they haven't been special summoned. I have, in fact, an alien monster from my graveyard. So actually, what I'm going to do is this. We're going to alien ammonite, which is my tuner. Which is going to let me synchro summon with the alien monster that I just had in my graveyard. Oh no, I don't want alien dog. Not yet. We're going to save that for the next turn. Uh, Amniel's alien deck doesn't even have alien dog in it, so I had to put it in there myself. I was like, why would you not have that in there? It's such like a nice card for synchros and stuff. All right. So yeah, we synchro and we XYZ because we super variable. Cosmic Fortress, Golgar. Once per turn, I can select any number of face-up spell or trap cards, return those cards to their owner's hands, and distribute eight counters among monsters equal to the number of cards returned. Alright, so the alien deck revolves around alien counters, which when opponent's monsters are equipped with those counters, they do less damage to a they lose attack and defense uh, when they battle alien monsters. So, I could send Amazonas Village back to the hand, but that would be pointless now because there's no monster to put an A counter on. So instead, I'm going to activate your effect again and put another reptile in my hand. Who would I want? Who looks good? I would say... Oh, that's a tough call. I think, yeah, maybe Kage to Kage. Because when I normal summon a four star, I can special summon him. So I could use him for like another XYZ or something like that. Um... I don't want to use his effect yet. Although when an... When an Amazon is destroyed by battle, I can special summon an Amazonist from, from your... From, so, I want you to do that. So, like, if I kill your Amazonist monster right now, which is it's guaranteed to be an Amazonist monster. Like, I'm gonna kill it. It's dead. Now it's dead. You get to special summon it. Oh, but in defense mode, I thought you had, it had to be attacked. Well, that sucks. But, now that it's face up... I'm still gonna attack it, and you're gonna do it again. You're gonna do another... Oh, no, once per turn, you have to. That's... Okay. Never mind. But yeah, that's good, because it would have been good. Never mind. I kind of screwed it up. Like, I had different plans, but I also didn't want that card to live. Because she's got, you know, six-star monsters that are stronger than my King of the Feral Imps. Amazon is queen or something like that. But we're still, we still got, we got game going on right now. So we're actually going to summon three monsters this turn. Alien Kid... Activate the effect of you. You're gonna get summoned. Uh, 
Okay, I can only do one. My bad. But we can still do this. That card was not special summon. Let's turn you guys into an XYZ monster that might help me. I could shuffle her Amazonas field card into the deck. Or I could shuffle her monster into the deck. But if I shuffled her monster into the deck, she would send another monster. Which would be totally fine with me, so that's what I'm gonna do. Target one phase, change it to phase. Nope. Uh, shuffle. Oh, one other face up card, so I do have to do it to your Amazonas thing. Alright, you go away. You go into the deck and leave. Leave us. And then... We shall battle. You do not have any monsters that have high defense. That I guarantee. And now let's start to actually do some damage, huh? Sounds good to me. Unfortunately, you guys don't get to see, like, the whole alien counter thing in the works because I've got her so far on the ropes already, she's never gonna put a face-up monster down. But if that is, in fact, Amazonas Archers or something very similarly annoying, then, you know, we might have. Ah, offering you the Snake Deity. Might, uh, help me out there. Okay, when I normal summon an alien monster, I can special summon this card. Or, yeah. Let's just, let's just go basic. Alien Shock Trooper. Special Summon Alien Dog. Unfortunately, you don't have a face-up monster. Basically, we're just gonna absolutely wreck face right now. So, yeah, like 19 is safe. You're dead. Oh, and you don't even have anything that's gonna stop this. So, bye-bye, I guess. All right, Tanya, it was nice knowing you. You did a fair job destroying my rock deck, but not my alien deck. I guess that's game. Let me know if you ever want a rematch. No rematch. I joined the Shadow Riders to find a duelist who would be worthy to be my husband. But I've discovered I am not worthy to be with someone as strong as you. Farewell, Bastion. Well, then I guess that this is it. Boy, Bastion, you sure know how to pick him. Don't worry, buddy. There's plenty of fish in the sea. Nah, nah. Amazon Spellcaster, Amazon Spellcaster, Fiendish Chain, 1859. Okay, we're going to be fighting Titan again. I'm going to use a user deck for this one because I like Alexis Rhodes' deck. Alexis tended to her brother in the infirmary. A mysterious voice suddenly filled her head, saying that she could save her brother under one condition, that she beat him in a duel. It was the voice of Titan. Thought to be lost to the Shadow Realm, he had returned as one of the Shadow Riders. All right, so we duel. And if I win, you restore my brother's memories. That's the deal. Your end of it, at least. But if I win, I get something, too. Your spirit key and your soul to take back with me to the Shadow Realm. When you and I first met up, I was but a charlatan of the shadows. However, since being taken in by them, I am now the real deal. An authentic Shadow Rider. Let us begin. All right, story deck. Alexis Rhodes' deck is good. It has good fusions. I think it has, like, one fusion. I, I, do you Did you get more fusions, Alexis Rhodes? Because I feel like your deck should have more than one fusion. But we'll find out, I guess, because I do not recall. Titan's going to be annoying with his dumbass Archfiends. But we're going to be annoying with our super awesome uh, fusions. Oh, you have Pandemonium instead. Each time my player's Archfiend monster is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, except by, except by battle, that player can add one Archfiend monster from their deck to their hand. Okay, so I will want to focus on battling. Messenger of Peace. No. I know that's for, like... I don't want that. I, I hate Messenger of Peace, and I don't see how it's going to work for me. The players that have you control make your opponent's attack a direct attack instead and inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack of the attack target you control. Also, that monster you control can attack your opponent directly next turn. Eh. Okay, so we're gonna set you. And end our phase. I hate Messenger of Peace. It's really annoying. I don't like it. I don't want to make it work for me. 
Okay, we got Blades... Okay, we're gonna get uh, Etoil Cyber and our Blades Skater Fusion right now. Yep, there you are. You come here. You come here. A we palmarization to make Cyber Blader kill you. Or, uh, well, I mean, not kill you. I will send you to the graveyard, but, you know, you could possibly come back. And what's cool is that we've even got another Blade Skater in our hand, just in case another Etoil Cyber decides to show up. Where your opponent controls only one monster, this card cannot be destroyed by battle. Uh, while your opponent controls only two monsters, double this card's attack. While your opponent controls only three monsters, negate the effects of your opponent's spell trap and effect monster cards. Now, these effects are exclusive, I believe. You can only have one of them based on the amount of whatever. So, yeah, Messenger of Peace would not help me right now. I'm trying, I got, I got stuff to do, you know what I'm saying? Uh, why don't we do that? Okay, and then we'll use Doble Pass in case you get something that is better than Blade Skater and you try to kill it like a dumbass bitch. Then I am going to activate Double Pass and you can attack my life points directly instead, but then I get to, I get to attack you instead. This card cannot be destroyed by battle, so eat it. Eat that shit. Death's Counter Blow. Ah, oh, that card's annoying. You know, it's not ultimate, but it is annoying via direct attacks. So we... Oh, you're not gonna... You're just gonna, like, basically let me kill all my own monsters. Well, I'm sorry but I, to disappoint you, but I'm not gonna have that. I mean, I could, like, kill you. I don't even care. I don't even care, man. It was 800 attack. But I'm not gonna lose my monster for only 800 life points done, so... Uh, two messengers apiece. Come on. You gotta take those out of your deck, Alexis Rose. They're not gonna help you. They're gonna help you with, like, blade skaters, I guess. But, w <laughs> yeah. Still. Yeah, its attack is halved until the end phase, but it can attack your opponent directly. During the turn, you activate this fact. Only the sack or the something minds, they, you know. Unfortunately, the problem with that is that we're still death's counter blow. Like, it ruins that strategy completely. So. Uh. Car cannot be destroyed by battle. I'm gonna flip you just because I want to use you as bait to have them like possibly attack me so I can do some actual battle damage. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Terror King Archfiend. Unless you have an Archfiend monster card on your side of the field. Oh, so you had to set it because you're stupid. I think maybe I just don't care if this card dies. Oh, you got me! I've learned from my mistakes. I will never do that again. But I do have to not attack with Cyberblader, because right now it is the only thing that is keeping his monsters in check. Okay, reinforcement of the army. I want Blade Skater again, or uh, who do I? Somebody. This card against five hundred. Oh, Etoil. Yeah, but I don't. I want Etoil Cyber, but I don't want it to die. So I'm gonna keep it in my hand. Or maybe I don't care if it dies. Just kidding, because seventeen hundred life point damage is not small. So you know what? You know, you just let it die then. I think Alexis might have the Warrior Returning Alive, the spell card that lets you use special, not special summon, but add cards from your hand to your thing, or from your graveyard to your hand. So I could I could bring, you know, a fusion is imminent, then I could probably bring it back. But if not, we still did good damage. It was worth, it was worth dying over, I would say. Oh, Cyber Prima. Oh... That'll get rid of his Pandemonium. It will not get rid of Death's Counter Blow. But maybe I don't care still. Like, I'm continually not caring that my monsters are dying right now. Yep, that, blow that goes away. And then you die. 
And then maybe I just don't care that this card dies, because we did 2300 damage. That's fine by me, man. Oh, and maybe... Oh, because oh, I already attacked with her. That makes sense. Next turn, we can attack with her, and it's not even going to matter. You know, you killed all my cards, but my card not before my cards could do their damage to you, man. That's, that's kind of what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying right now? Summon you just for the hell of it, I guess. I do want to know what that if that's a trap card that's going to piss me off. Nope, you're dead. Titan is lost. I like it. No, not again. Atticus. Lexi. Addy, welcome back. Thanks, Lex, for everything. Wait, there are so many unanswered questions. Like how you ever ended up in the Shadow Realm. Titan said you did it for the power. Believe me, Lexi, I never chose to go. One day, a few of us were told to meet at the abandoned dorm, and then it happened. There was supposed to be a duel test in the basement, but instead we found hundreds of those little shadow fiends. I couldn't escape. I was brought to the Shadow Realm. They brainwashed me for months until I became this thing called Night Shroud. Oh, you were Night Shroud. By who? Who was it that brainwashed you? I never did figure that out. However, the person who called me to take the duel test was Professor Banner. Our Professor Banner? So he's in on it? Oh, 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 it gave me lots of desk counter blows. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.